We will be keeping a close eye on the latest coming in from Lebanon. For now, we are shifting our focus to China. It seems to be simulating an invasion of Taiwan. A recent documentary aired on China state television provides a rare glimpse into China's preparations for an attack on Taiwan. The latest episode of the documentary series called Quenching was broadcast on Monday night itself. It details the process of a potential landing on Taiwan. Just have a look at these images on your screen. What do you see? Jets, helicopters, warships, rocket launchers. According to the documentary, in fact, these are being used for military exercises conducted by the People's Liberation Army's forces. It reveals China's potential war strategy involving ground forces, the Navy and the Rocket Brigade. These pictures leave no doubt about China's intentions. One of the operations featured in the documentary involves a large-scale helicopter air assault by the Ground Forces Aviation Unit. It also showcases an aircraft carrier strike group's anti-access electronic countermeasures and a long-range rocket fire covering drill. And this entire episode lasts for 20 minutes. It starts off with a soldier expressing a nostalgic longing for a unified country. He laments how the island of Taiwan and mainland China still remain separated. A bit dramatic, isn't it? Apparently, not enough. Ironically, for a country seemingly nostalgic about Taiwan, the strategy for reunification involves significant force and violence. Because following this brief nostalgia, the program delves into how reconnaissance and strike drones will be used to facilitate the helicopters in delivering landing troops to the island. The documentary also shows helicopter air assault operation being conducted in an airfield with specially designed landing positions. The documentary shows the PLA deploying the high altitude surveillance drones while helicopters flow near the sea level. The documentary plays out like a war movie. It shows Chinese forces training to face resistance from their adversaries. In the video, helicopters and landing troops encounter strong opposition from enemy forces equipped with man-portable air defense missiles. Interestingly, Taiwan recently acquired 250 FIM-92 Stinger Manpads missiles from the US. And just this month, they announced plans to purchase 1,985 more. As the intense exercise unfolds, a soldier emphasizes the importance of finding new strategies to achieve victory in real battles. The documentary does not actually specify when the war games took place, but it was reported in July, remember, that the Chinese warship Yan'an accompanied the Shandong aircraft carrier along with two other warships on an exercise in the Western Pacific Ocean east of Taiwan. In fact, in July, Japan's military also photographed the Chinese warship during its operation. The Japanese military also spotted fighter planes and helicopters taking off and landing from Shantong. And this, by the way, was at the same time as the U.S. leading the world's biggest maritime military drill near Hawaii, the rim of the Pacific exercise. The entire documentary is further proof of the fact that a Chinese invasion of Taiwan is no longer a matter of if, it's a matter of when, it seems. China, which views democratically governed Taiwan as its own territory, has ramped up military and political pressure around the island over the past five years. And this is in a bid to assert its claims, which Taipei, of course, strongly rejects. In fact, China's activities are what is referred to as grey zone warfare. Basically, it involves using tactics that stop short of actual combat to test and pressure the Taiwanese forces. And that is why there has been regular Coast Guard patrols near the Taiwan-controlled Kinmen Islands. Now, these islands lie within the view of China. You see, these war simulations are a warning to Taiwan and its allies, specifically speaking, the United States. Although the U.S. does not recognize Taiwan as an independent state, Washington is opposed to any attempt by China to change the status quo by force. 
and the U.S. is also Taiwan's largest arms supplier. The waters east of Taiwan from former key area for China's anti-access and area denial strategy. It's a military strategy which aims to control access to and within a specific area of operation. For China, the strategy involves preventing potential intervention from the U.S. and its allies in the event of a landing attack on the island. In such a scenario, China's ground force brigade would use the PLA's most advanced long-range multiple launch rocket system known as the PCL-191. This system is capable of firing 370 mm rockets up to a distance of 350 kilometers, that's 217 miles, and 750 mm ballistic missiles up to 500 kilometers. Remember, the Taiwan Strait is only 280 kilometers at its widest point. If fired, the rocket system would be able to strike the Taiwanese west coast from positions in Fujian, China's coastal mainland province that directly faces the island. But this is not the first time China has held provocative exercises around Taiwan or sent out such messages. The first came after former U.S. Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, remember, visited Taiwan in August 2022. And since then, China has only upped the ante in the Taiwan Strait. China has regularly sent military aircraft into Taiwan's air defense zone. Its warships have repeatedly crossed the unofficial median line between the Chinese mainland and the island republic. And as a result, the Taiwanese army is on perpetual alert. For China, such military provocations demonstrate its claim to Taiwan's territory and China's government has, for that matter, repeatedly threatened to conquer Taiwan by force if it does not voluntarily join the mainland. No matter what Taiwan's population has to say, who, by the way, identifies themselves as Taiwanese and not as Chinese, it also rejects the prospect of unification with China but China does not seem to care. Beijing calls those who do not want China's forced reunification as separatists. It has characterized its military presence around Taiwan as strong punishment for the separatist acts of Taiwan's independence forces. Beijing describes support for Taiwan by US and Japan as interference and provocation by external forces. With the conflict in Ukraine and West Asia dominating the world's attention, the tensions around the Taiwan Strait have been somewhat quiet for the past few months. Given China's evident readiness for war, it looks like the situation could change soon. Just how fast is the question? And we will have to wait and watch for that answer. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.